Hold up. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. So today we are going to create a login page in MVC using Dapper. So let's get started. Open Visual Studio. Click on File. Click on New. Click on Project. Give our application name. I will give it as Test Application. Click on OK. Choose MVC. Click on OK. So I have a login template which I will show you. So this is a login template. I will provide you the link in the description. So this is a login template. We are going to use this code in our MVC application. So I'll close this. And I have created a theme folder which contains CSS, font, images, JS folder. So I'll just copy this folder into our MVC application. Right click on our project and paste it in here. Okay. So after that, I will create a login method in our home controller. Okay. So in order to do that, like action result login. return view to add a view right click on this add view and leave it like this uncheck the checkbox click on add so this has generated a random html code we are going to replace this so i have a code here HTML code. Control C. Control V. Okay. So just check whether you have mentioned the right path for all the files mentioned in here. Okay. So right now it is giving a an error. So in order to solve that, we are going to create a class named as users in our models. So there are three main parts, models, controllers, and views in MVC. So we are going to create a model class in our models. Right click on this, add new class. We'll give a name as users. Click on add. So I will replace this code with my code. So here is our code. I'm going to copy and paste it in here. So I have created a method which is retrieved by username. So there are some errors. We're going to solve them. Okay. So in order to use my SQL, we need to add a NuGet packager. So in order to do that, click on right click on our, our project. Click on manage NuGet packages. Go to browse search my sql okay click on it click on install so i'll just pause this video click on ok accept okay so my sql has been installed so we are using dapper so i will quickly install that also dapper Click install. Let's fast forward the video. So now Dapper has been installed, MySQL has been installed. Let's jump on to our user class. Solve this issue. Okay, so that we have done that to add Dapper also. Okay, after that, we are going to have a login method with parameters. So I'll replace the code in here. Okay. 
after that we are going to fix this Sweet. and here we have user response message class so i'll quickly add that let's just create a helper class for that so i'll make a new folder add new folder i'll name it as helper okay and new here we are going to add a new class which will be called as press message dot cs click on add okay so we'll replace this code so here is our response message class i just quickly copy paste it giving us some errors for that okay after that So the method name has been changed. Okay, so in order to solve this error, we need to include our model class. So in order to do that, type at the rate model space but project name. dot models dot class so the error will get solved okay and in order to uh, work this CSS HTML make sure you mention this post method because otherwise it will not hit the controller we are using a get method for logging and post method with parameters okay after that we'll add a web config connection string in here Okay, so we are going to add the connection string. Right, connection things. Add the connection string. Make sure you name. Make sure you check the name that on CR matches with your connection string name. So in here, you need to check the connection string name. Okay, so. There are some errors. Okay. I'll just quickly rebuild this. Okay, so now I'll just explain you what this code means. Okay, so we have used a MySQL mas connection object connection, and uh, we are going to check by uh, creating a method in user class that if you know, username exists in our database or not, then so oh, this is our method. Which will retrieve username from our database and our login table. After that, uh, we will check if user exists or not. And after that, we'll check if the password matches with our database password. Then we'll store the session username and we'll redirect if the user is authenticated. We'll redirect into index page. Otherwise, if the password doesn't match, will give appropriate response to that okay so we'll just test our application okay so by default it is opening this page so in order to change that i'll show you method so close this right click on our project go to properties Go to web, select specific page, type home, which is our home controller, and our login method. So it will solve that error and run that again. Okay, so it has run properly, but there's an error. We haven't started our MySQL server, so we need to start that. I'll type XAM server. Start Apache and MySQL server and go to 127. 
so zero dot zero dot one. Where I have my database login table. So this is our database name test. So in the login string, login string. So in my login table, there's one record as my test and password says one two three. We'll check that. So I'll provide that test with some wrong input the password. We'll show appropriate message. I'll give correct inputs this time. Test one two three. And so it is showing something like that. We need to change this. So I'll change this HTML code. See the HTML code. So let's quickly go to that. So in our home, use home, we have index page. So we need to change this. So I just quickly remove the unnecessary code. Okay. So we'll add a welcome message. Welcome. The red session with the username. So it will show our username. So just replace this page again. And it's showing our username. The message. So that was it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, guys.